This is the solution to WEX092. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so, uh, a brief uh, reason why you know why uh, this exercise. This looks just like uh, one of the one of the zero seven exercises, uh, in that uh, we're finding uh, the uh, the area of a region. Uh, but uh, the reason why uh, this exercise is here, so then uh, the reason, uh, oops, so this uh, looks like uh, a wex. 07 exercise, uh, and in some sense that it, uh, it it is the same topic, but uh, but it uh, it it's the it's including a new thing. So it is now with uh, integration by parts. So that's the that's the new item. All right, so then uh, we're doing a we're doing a, an old task, but uh, with a new uh, spice. All right. <clears throat> so we want to uh, figure out uh, what these look like. <clears throat> okay. So this is uh, what we need to know. That uh, well, y equal to zero. Of course, uh, is the x-axis. So that's y equal to zero there. Uh, we also need to know that uh, x plus one is a uh, line that uh, looks like this. logarithm uh, looks like this. So that's a vertical asymptote there. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, and what we want is uh, the product of, uh, of these. So this is uh, y logarithm of x, and uh, we want uh, the product of those. So here's the thing. Notice that, uh, you know, in the first place, this is uh, only defined, uh, log is only defined on the right half. So to consider the product, we can get, just consider the right half. Uh, notice that uh, this is always uh, one or more, which means that um, <coughs> what's going to happen is that uh, that's just going to make uh, this scale and get uh, stretched out vertically. Uh, and in, in particular, this location right here, that's, uh, that's x is 1. OK, and uh, that's that. So uh, as a result, combining uh, all of that uh, information there, uh, we have the following. That uh, the sketch uh, will look like this. So we don't need to worry about the left half. We've got uh, x equal to 1. Uh, 
the other place is uh, x equal to e. So e is uh, about 2.7. So that's a 1, 2, this is about 2.7-ish. X, x equal to e. So this, uh, you know, goes down like that, and uh, then this goes uh, up a little more quickly than log because we're multiplying it by that. So this would be y is uh, x plus one multiplied by the logarithm. Of x. Uh, so between uh, 1 and 8. All right. So then uh, the region here is pretty straightforward. It's just uh, it's just this. So that's the region R there. Uh, but uh, the re the reason why the region is straightforward is because. Uh, Finding the region was not uh, the real uh, focus of this exercise. Rather, uh, the focus was that uh, you were uh, doing this uh, lecture seven topic, uh, but with a new piece, with uh, with the integration by parts. All right. So, to find uh, the area, <coughs> uh, you know, remember that uh, integral is signed area, so we have to be sure to pick out uh, the correct uh, order. Uh, of the of the subtraction, so then we're going to go from one to e, and uh, the order of subtraction that we want is uh, we want uh, the red bit, the part that looks like that, you know, and then subtract. Uh, you know, if I draw this in green here, uh, subtract uh, this part. Carrying it out, that would be integral 1 to e, and then uh, x plus 1 logarithm x, and then subtract 0, because that horizontal line is y equal to 0 there. And uh, so, in the end, the integral that uh, you needed to get to was uh, this. So x plus 1 logarithm x dx. Okay, so then the point was, uh, you know, half, you know, a big part of the exercise is just getting to, uh, uh, could you come to the, uh, to the correct integral? Now, to actually evaluate this integral, we're going to need uh, by parts. So I'll just uh, copy it up here so I don't have to keep pointing down there. So in, in using uh, by parts, uh, we label all the factors. This is an algebraic factor. This is a logarithmic factor. And uh, remember that uh, the acronym in uh, by parts is uh, LAE. And uh, since we found an L factor, that means that that's the winner. That's the one that's going to be uh, u. So u is the logarithm of x. dv is everything else. So x plus 1 uh, dx. So from these, we can uh, figure out uh, du. So du. 1 over x dx. From dv, we can figure out uh, v. Uh, so then uh, that, uh, that would be x plus 1 squared over 2. <coughs> uh, good. 
So then, uh, continuing this, uh, oh, by the by the way, uh, what I did here, this uh, this trick, uh, is uh, I mentioned this uh, coming from here to here. This idea is that uh, this is uh, called a shift. So specifically, because we're because all that uh, you know, if it, if this was exactly uh, x dx, then the answer would be x squared over two. But the fact that uh, it differs from just an x by a constant means that uh, this works. So you can uh, look at our previous lecture to see uh, to see a discussion of that. So then uh, it'll be uv. The logarithm of x, x plus 1 over 2, so uv, evaluated from uh, 1 to e, uh, minus integral 1 to e of v du, uh, <coughs> so that would be x plus 1 squared over 2 uh, times 1 over x dx. Ah, you know what? Uh, this shift thing is uh, correct. There's nothing wrong with it, but uh, it's actually going to make... It actually makes uh, doing the exercise more complicated. All right, so I'm going to not do that. I'm going to ignore this. I'll do that differently. So sometimes using a trick, a shortcut trick, uh, it's not clear that it's not a shortcut until after you have a good look at it. So instead of uh, doing it uh, that way, I'm going to do it in, uh, I'm going to say that this is equal to just uh, x squared over 2. And then plus x. Yeah, that's going to make it uh, work out a little a little easier. So x squared over two, and then plus x, like that, and then this one, x squared over two, and then plus x, like that. Yeah, this is better. All right. <coughs> so carrying this out. This gives us, so I'll evaluate uh, this thing. So logarithm of e, that's just 1. And then uh, plugging that in, that'd be e squared over 2 uh, at e. And then subtract <coughs> uh, if we plug in uh, 1, then the logarithm of 1, that's 0 and then multiply it by uh, half plus one. Okay, so that's doing that evaluation. And now, before I do the integral, uh, we need to do, uh, we need to uh, algebraically simplify this. So I'll distribute the one over x in uh, and get uh, one half, and then x squared over x is just an x. And then x over x is a 1, that dx. OK, so multiplication by 1, that, uh, you know, I don't have to include that. And then uh, 0, well, that's just 0, multiplication by 0. So this would be uh, e squared over 2 at e, uh, the natural number. And then uh, now do that, so then subtract. Uh, half, and then x squared over 2, so that'd be a fourth x squared, and then add x, and then 1 to e, like that. All right, uh, so this would be uh, e squared over 2, add e, and then now subtract. So we want to plug in... Uh, plug in e. So this would be uh, one-fourth 
e squared uh, plus e, and then subtract uh, one fourth, one squared, and then uh, plus one. That. So that would be e squared over two. plus e, subtract, and now I'll simplify this stuff in here a little bit. So that would be a quarter e squared plus e, and then one-fourth uh, plus one is five-fourths, so then subtract five-fourths. <coughs> so now I'll simplify this. So this would be uh, e squared over 2, and then I'm going to subtract uh, uh, e squared over 4, writing that as e squared over 4. Then we have e minus e, so that goes away, and then uh, subtract uh, negative 5 fourths, uh, so that'd be add 5 fourths. And then simplifying this, this is uh, 2 e squared over 4 uh, minus 1 e squared over 4. So that would be uh, e squared over 4, just one of them, uh, and then plus uh, 5 over 4.